But, um, okay, so I've got a lot of newbies as well that are on the call. Um, I think I've signed up about, I don't know, about 12 already this month. Um, so a lot of people don't even know how to get to their first positions. Obviously, we give them, um, I've got a CC Golden Guide from the beginning as well. So it's like a PowerPoint presentation of everything. A lot of them don't really know. 825 points to get to your first promotion. Obviously, that doesn't give you a bonus, but it will give you a pay rise. So you'll get an extra 4% once you've promoted. Um, so yeah, so DD. 825 points so easy all that is is about seven orders i could do probably five to seven orders in one day so to get that in one month is nothing five to seven orders so we all know five like five to seven people like friends of that that want to look good feel good and like sort their uh, health and that out so we all know that amount of people even if you make your own order that's obviously counting towards it as well so seven seven shake orders from you you've hit your first promotion, um, and as well you're trying to make sure that you're not just doing like single orders. Make sure you're going for packages as well, guys. So if you're getting a couple of shake orders and then you're putting through a couple of like uh, boosters and things out with it as well, you're going to hit it in no time. I've got one of my girls, Kelly. She's just joined the business at the beginning of the month. Um, she done DD within I think a week or something. Not even a week. Day. yeah within a week and now she's gone she's she's like what 900 points away from SDD so and she only started at the beginning of the month so yeah so make sure guys remember 825 points um so that's about seven shake orders or about four packages depending on what packages that obviously you use um and as well like we always say that like, to try and get to SDD but like especially with the girl Kimberly that's in my team as well, we always look to get to the promotion above it so that uh, you know you're going to reconfirm your, your position in that. So to get to SDD, obviously, it's 3,250 points. Um, but always look to get to the next position. So SC, say if you get 825 points, yeah, you, by the way, the rules have changed now, guys, so you have to get 825 of your personal points to be able to promote before you could literally wing it off the back of your team but obviously the business is clocked on that too many people are doing it um so you need to get 825 personal points to reconfirm your pb you don't have to do that you can obviously do it off your own points your dds and your dealers in your business um but to go to your next promotion you have to get 825 so if you get 825 of your personal points and you recruit three people and they're getting 825 as well. They recruit people in their business, yeah. Bear in mind, you've done that, so boom, you've gone DD straight away. These people here, they've all gone DD as well, yeah. They recruit three people. It's so easy. We all know at least three people that we could bring into a business. We all know three people that want to earn money or like, like what we say is that obviously get look good, feel good, and earn a bit of money. Hold on, funny thing. Um, but yeah, so if you get 825, you've hit DD, you recruit three people in the business, 825 each, they do exactly the same. They've gone DD. So obviously all these people are duplicating what you're doing. These people here have gone SDD, which has made you an SC in the business. You need one DD in your business for you to go, one frontline DD in your business for you to go SC position. So obviously you've now got three people in your business that have gone SDD because they've duplicated what you've done. There is no stopping you from doing that in about two months. There is literally nothing stopping you from doing that in two months. How? I've proved it. I've done it myself. I went S SDD and things like that in three weeks in the business. So there's nothing stopping you from going SC within two months. So as long as you're getting 825, they say do 825 plus one. If you do that every month and you duplicate that and you tell your team to do exactly that, you can be an NMD within about, what, eight, nine months, not even that. So that's going to give you probably about 6,600 pay line, like points. You've got SC so easily. So within two months, you duplicate 821. I say plus three, but if you do 821 plus, uh, 825 plus one, you're going to obviously hit it a little bit like longer time. Try and look at... Uh, getting teamies every single day guys that is so important you're never going to get far in this business without having a team behind you like you physically can't do it 
the higher you get in the business as well, you'll realise how important it is to keep your team on top. And make sure you're training your team as well. So obviously jump on Zoom calls, make your own Zoom calls. Um, go on like the YouTube videos, Emma Karen and Emma Stezen and things like that. Sinead Kavanagh is really good on that as well. Hold on, let me give you one of these ones. Yeah. Well then go down and play. Hold on, wait. Um, but yeah, so um, there's a couple of YouTube videos as well that explains what, like Sinead Kavanagh does it all the time. She explains exactly what... Um, like what packages, how, however many points they are, how many you need to hit each promotion as well. Um, but yeah, so obviously getting teamies is one of our hardest things that people like, obviously are like, doing. But you've got to remember, why did you join the business? What was it that attracted you to the business? So if you needed extra money, show that you're earning the extra money on social media, not even just Facebook, but Twitter or Instagram and things like that. So, but be indirect with it. So don't just put, oh, I've been paid this, that and the other. Like, take pictures of things that you've bought. If you're going out nice places, going restaurants and things like that, obviously it costs money. So tag yourself in places. Um, you need to be sort of like a public figure. You need to show that you're doing things as well. So obviously live in the lifestyle of some, like what someone wants. Um, again, all, all, all social media. So use Instagram, use Facebook, use um, Twitter. And come off social media as well. So... Like have leaflets made, uh, cards made, and things like that. When you're going like to Aldi or Asda, or you're going in to have your hair done, your nails done, and things like that. Make sure that you're chatting to people when you're networking. Like the whole point of this business is network marketing. So make sure you're talking to people. And if you're not confident enough, like you're not going to get confidence overnight. Like you won't sit here and be able to host a Zoom call. Like I've done a Zoom call. Well, it wasn't even a Zoom call. It was one with Simon Bowler and that. And there was like four or five thousand people on it. Um, but you're not going to get that overnight. You're not going to do like get your confidence overnight. It's going to build and build. But you need to put yourself out there a bit more. So do live videos, do live calls, ring customers, people that show any little bit of interest and they're a bit blunt or something like that across, like, across uh, social media. Ring them, inbox them, and just be like, oh, do you fancy your chat? Like it's a bit easier to do it over the phone. Ring them and they can hear you. Then you're building trust straight away. You're building a friendship straight away. That like you're connecting with people. Sometimes people can think that I'm a bit blunt or stuck up and things out across Facebook. But when they actually talk to me, they're actually realising I'm not too bad. But um, and as well, a lot of people are materialistic, so they they they're not bothered about like the little things. They they are more bothered, like interested in the things that catch their eye. So. The designer stuff, the nice cars, the flat light, the flash stuff, the watches and things like that. So obviously if you're not high in the business yet and you cannot afford to buy any of that, then share people's experiences as well. So um, Emma Curran, she's she's buying a place out in Jamaica. She's living in Jamaica now. Um, Mike Sledden and Emma Sledden, uh, they've bought a Bentley, they've got a Range Rover, uh, Katie Ravy, she's bought a new Range, Lauren Roberts and that, they all just got matching Range Rovers, um, like, if, like, one of the girls, that, if they, like, they, they buy each other, like, pairs of, like, Louboutins and that, for birthday presents, I haven't even got a pair of Louboutins yet, but they buy each other things, like, stupid things that act for, like, birthday presents and that, but it just goes to show what sort of money they're actually earning. Hold on. Yeah, what do you want? Um, so yeah, so make sure that you're sharing that across Facebook. It hasn't got to be your own personal story and things like that if you're just new to the business. But remember that that's what sort of things that brought you in. So make sure you're sharing that. Um, give feedback on everything that you do. So if people are hitting promotions and targets and things like that, they're getting a three hundred pound bonus. They're getting a three thousand pound bonus. Make sure that you're sharing that as well. Even if they're not your team, but you see it share it just literally share it because people don't think that like there's enough people to go around in the business no more they don't realize that there's still plenty of opportunities for people so make sure you're sharing it on there um even down to again the, the small things so obviously christmas has just come everyone's been skin um not a lot of people have had money hold on bunny's doing my head in what are you doing go then um, yeah, so people are skinning that, but we've just been paid again, so people don't get paid now to the end of the month, like a couple of my mates, they keep saying, oh, I can't go out because I don't get paid to the end of the month, and I'm like, oh, do you want to stuff, like, do you want to help, blah, 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 they're like, no, it's all right, it's all right, so a lot of people don't get paid now to the end of the month, so you've just been paid, so you need to give that opportunity to other people to know that they can have that second payday. Um, freedom's another one, guys, so obviously... 
I don't work um, any other job. I do this full time and it allows me to have time with my children. It allows me to do things that I want to do. If I want to go out or like I've got tonsillitis that I haven't had to, have to take time off work, I'm still able to earn money. So put that up and put that up on Facebook and things like that. John, guess that's the moment I've got that tenure. Um, yeah, and show that you're helping people as well, so that you're giving people the opportunity to start the business, um, giving people the opportunity to, hold on, giving people the opportunity to earn money and also lose weight and get healthy in that as well. Um, so make sure you're sharing that. You'd be a fool if you didn't, because obviously you need people to join your business and you want the whole point of the business is helping people. So make sure you're doing that. So do indirect statuses. I personally do a hell of a lot of indirect statuses, but I also do a lot of direct statuses. So some people are a bit slow and they don't realise what you're trying to get at by doing a lot of indirect. So sometimes a couple of times a week, probably about four times a week, I'll do like direct statuses saying that I'm looking for someone uh, to join the team, blah, blah, blah. And as well, guys, if people haven't got money to join your business, Obviously, it's only £50. Do 25 tickets, £2 each, and put it as a raffle. Let people buy numbers. So do a raffle. It's like I've had loads of teamies doing that. Or do a giveaway. When you get paid, put one, say, like if you're getting a couple hundred or whatever, put £50 away to give the opportunity to someone to join the business. And say to people, put it on your Facebook and say to people, what, um, like, I'm going to give away the opportunity for someone to join the business for free, blah, blah inbox me and tell me why you think you deserve this like this free one or do a 10% off 10% off joining fee start of the month for in like the 25th on the rollout of the month um do that um and it's only a fiver off so literally get them to sign up and put a fiver back in their bank um yes yeah, so that obviously show that you're spending time with your family and friends socializing as well a lot of the girls that have joined my team have said that they see that I'm out all the time, um, I'm doing things and that, and they just literally want to make friends, people that are on the same wavelength and that as them. So make sure you're putting out that, that tag yourself in places when you meet your team, when you're doing things, like the Zoom call tonight, show that you're getting help and that you're socialising, you're talking to people, you're going to events. Um, like the training event on Saturday, there was, what, probably about 80 of us there, and everyone was saying, oh, that they wish they could have come. So make sure that you're tagging yourself in places and you're showing that. Um, and consistency is always key. I know we say that to be consistent all the time, but it's so important. When you take your foot off that pedal, your business will literally flop. So obviously I left Bill um, back in September and I took my foot off the pedal and my pay line has dropped 100 grand within what, four months? So it just goes to show that when you do take your foot off the pedal, it really will affect your business. I've seen people in the business go from club 100 and something down to like club 30 and their wages probably drop by about 20k so it's so 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 important guys that you keep consistent with every single thing you do your posting your meal plans your recipes your files like if you're doing training files put them up if you're doing youtube videos put them up but don't just do a one-off and think oh yeah everyone's seen it because they wouldn't have so make sure you keep it all the time and whilst you're being consistent remember guys as well you're gaining trust People are going to trust you. They're going to look up to you. So if you want to be an inspiration, you want people to join your business, you need to give them a reason why to join your business. What are you giving that someone else isn't going to give? What can you bring to the table that someone else isn't going to be able to? So always keep that in the back of your head. Um, and always make sure that you, like, you're approachable and that you've got that door open. So a lot of the time I look like I'm busy and I've had a lot of my girls go to Kim and say, oh, Cassie's always busy. I feel like I can't message her, blah, blah, blah. So that's within the past couple of months. So make sure that you look like you're approachable. Make sure that you're doing the right things, that you look like you're like there with open arms for people to come and approach you, to talk to you, to be able to tell you their problems and things like that. So if you haven't got your own personal journey out there at the minute, then I, I, I tell you to do that. Do a write-up one. And if you haven't wrote one up, do a video. Don't do a live video because it gets wiped out. You'll lose it. Oh, my God, Bunny's drew all over her arms and markers. Um... If you can't do that, then um, don't do that. Do a proper video and put it up there. Put it on YouTube as well. Um, and put it up like put it up on the testimonial page as well for people to share. When i done my video um, of my journey, it's got like 300 or 400 thousand likes now views. Um, I didn't like people sharing it. Like I was really funny about it. Um, but I didn't realise the more that people shared it, obviously the more attention that I got and it actually built my business, like big time built my business. What one do you want? What? 
no, you're not drawing on there. But yeah, so um, and that's about it done. <laughs> Cool, amazing. Um, it's funny because what you just said, Cass, made me think of something um, that people don't normally buy the products or um, join the business until their third or fourth like exposure or encounter. So like I related this to a pair of trainers. So I, I saw a pair of Harachis, I think, um, like on a face someone put on Facebook, and I thought, oh, they're nice. Then I went to Italy and saw them in a shop window and thought, oh, I might buy them. Then I went shopping to Bath, tried them on, and it wasn't until the Black Friday sale that I actually bought the trainers. And that's kind of like our business because sometimes people just need a little bit of time. They need to like check with their husbands, check with their wives. They need to, um, you know, figure out their money or be sure that it's the right decision for them. So don't feel like if someone says no, it's a it's a no forever, it's just a not yet. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk just about a few things. Um, so we are going to talk about how to attract you. Um, obviously, we could talk about how to attract, like, for us it would be couples, or for me it would be, like, young girls, but um, we want it to work for you. So how to find you. So, Dan, where would you find your ideal person? So a great way to find out who you are and who you want to attract is by looking at things that you like. So if you get daily subscription emails from companies like in Harrods case, misguided, or I follow people like Ty Lopez, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, entrepreneur, successful people, then that is a great indicator of what sort of thing that you look for. So you can, if you, you look for those sorts of like, um, topics or people or just general, um, sort of interests then that's you so that's how you can find out who you are then once you've worked out who you are you can then look where you want to find your people so what I do specifically is I try and find people I my my actual um, audience is sort of PTs and gym instructors who are not because I relate to them but the ones who are struggling for money because I feel as if I have the confidence and um, posture to approach these people and say look I genuinely have something that can help you so I look on Google and I search things like um, how can I grow my personal training business then I'll find a company that um, solves this person's problem see if they have a Facebook page and then go onto that Facebook page and add all the people that like their posts because all the people that like that company's posts are all struggling personal trainers that need more money in their life so if you ride horses, add horse riders. If you like surfing, add surfers. If you like materialistic things, like Cassie, you can literally go and add. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm me, so that's fine. <laughs> you can go and add all the girls that like all, um, uh, what's it called, in London, Harrods, all the sort of Lou, the Boutons, all the Lou Versace, all that side of stuff. And then you can show these people how they can achieve and afford those things. And so it's literally a case of finding out who you are, then going to find people or an audience that suits you that you want to work with. Yeah, so I'd like go onto the misguided Facebook page and I would go for the people that have liked or commented on their posts and I would add them um, just as a way of getting people that aren't in, like haven't got loads of mutual friends with you. Um, the thing that I find the most common thing when I speak to people is that people don't know who they are and I know that sounds a bit um, bizarre but people don't know um, they maybe don't have enough self-belief or self-confidence to know how to describe themselves and so what Dan says is a great idea looking for your your likes uh, and your interests on Facebook or your email subscriptions but the thing that I always get new team members to do is to just draw a little stick version of yourself on a piece of paper and just write all the things that you can think of about yourself your interests um, your lifestyle things that you do things that you think define who you are um, and it's surprising the amount of people that really struggle with this task and if you do struggle I would suggest asking your friends and family how they would describe you or um, what you know what they think you're about um, and essentially these things are your posts so just to give you a brief example if I was to do this for myself I would write things like fashion online shopping I'm in a relationship with Dan I have a cat I have a nephew I'm a dance and drama teacher I like going to the gym um, I like the Kardashians like, and do all these things 
are my Facebook posts. So I might do a post about me and Dan going on a date. I might do a post about my cat, a live video at the gym. I might share what I've bought on Misguided. Because all these things show you living a rich life. And that's what um, Cassie talks about when she says live like a PMD. And sometimes it's not about being able to afford the most expensive things. It's about having a rich life in terms of happiness and positivity. So showing that you are a kind, fulfilled, positive person speaks a lot louder than saying that you can afford a Range Rover perhaps and um, you know if you want to share those things because you think people will find those interesting then you need to do exactly what Cassie said and share success stories I tell all my team when um, when we have some success in our whole team that they share it and say oh I can't believe when Alana joined my business and um, she earned herself 500 pounds in her first month it doesn't mean they she's in their Alana's in their team um, but she's in our team, so therefore they can take kind of ownership over it. Um, so yeah, figure out who you are, figure out where you would hang out, and then add those people. Um, how not to promote on Facebook, <laughs> Dan? Uh, this is quite an obvious one, but just to cover the for newbies. I always tell people the ratio is twenty eighty, so or one in five. One in five is an easy ratio. Yeah. So. In every five Facebook posts, one has to be JP related, the other four need to be you. Because then you're literally not spamming people and you're not out to, um, but you're not trying to sell people all the time. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk's book is called um, Jab, 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 Right Hook. And what he means by that is give free value. So give people workout ideas, give people recipes, give people um, healthy, inspirational stuff show you in the gym so you're giving so much content and you're giving so much love to people that when you do right hook them aka ask them to buy they feel compelled to buy and they say yeah go on then because you seem like the guy who is literally like, like changing people's lives and helping so many people yeah. so literally one in five needs for jp and do you know what i'm a bit of a critter uh, hypocrite because i do too much jp stuff but that's because i love it so much i need to tone it down um, I'm just too <laughs> passionate about it but um, yeah that's a note I need to take myself actually. <laughs> so some of the basic things is um, you don't mention juice plus the actual words in your status you can just talk about the health products because the whole idea is that you're trying to create intrigue um, don't use any Google pictures I literally threatened to like gouge my own eyeball out if my team use Google Pictures and if they do upload one I message them straight away asking them to take it down and that's not because I'm a control freak kind of but it's because Google Pictures look naff they look tacky and if people wanted to see a Google picture of Juice Plus they would go on Google themselves so people want to see you using it you in your hand you doing funny things like sometimes I challenge the team to do like the most creative thing with the project like how how many ways can you take it or something like that just Think of creative ideas to show that you're using it um, as opposed to a nice Google Tubs picture of the premium capsules that we don't need to see. Um, no salesy stuff. So we don't want like, roll up, roll up. Like, <laughs> who wants to buy Juice Plus? Like, we don't need none of that because we're... we're we're not salesmen, we are sharers of a product. And, um, you know, all of a sudden you can't go from being like, what, you know, yourself one day and the next day you're like the fruit and veg man. Like, you can't do that. It just doesn't come across as, like, real. Um, no prices. So it's okay to say things like, who wants to join my 16-week challenge for £5 a week? That's okay. Um, and that would that's obviously implying the berries or the boosters. But don't say, um, these shakes are so delicious. £32.50 per month for four months is a great price. Like, if you tell them all the information, they're gonna go, nah, too expensive. Yet they don't know, because you haven't spoke to them, that actually that's your breakfast and your lunch. So don't ever give too much information away. Remember, we're trying to create um, intrigue. Um, don't use poor quality pics. So like, don't use blurry images or like, and you know. And crop. If yeah. you screenshot something, my make sure you head. crop out the, the, the bit where it says your battery edges. percentage and like yeah. the bottom bit at the bottom. Make it look professional. If you don't know how to crop, you need to speak to someone. Um, I don't mean get help. I mean, I'd speak to your upline and find out how to crop because <laughs> um, it just looks really naff if you haven't done it. Um, and like, like Cass said yesterday, like don't put slop on a plate. Like if your meal, like I've had it where I've made the most amazing meal, but it just looks shit on a plate. So I, I won't upload it. Like sometimes it can't be helped when it, but I won't upload it because no one's going to go, mmm, yeah, that's really tasty. Um, 
and no drama. So like, just don't, just steer away from it. Like I, I before this business, I was quite like a controversial person. I do try and steer away from that. It's okay to have a little bit of controversy every now and again, because it might make you who you are, but just don't have any like negative drama. Like, you know, if your ex-boyfriend's cheated on you, you don't need to put on Facebook, you know, like that he's a cheating prick and all this. Just but he's your ex, it doesn't matter. Well, I, as you know what I mean. Like, if someone should, like, just leave all your drama behind. Like, no dirty laundry washed here. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just really quickly, some apps that we find really useful. Um, what's your favourite? My two favourites are layouts, which is good for organising photos together with no borders. It's really clean. And um, Word Swag by far. These yeah. are my two favourite ones I use every day. Word Swag has literally just done an update. It must have been the last two days where now you can choose whether it's a square image, a Facebook post, a cover photo, that like you can literally tailor the picture to what you want to use it for. So it's, even, it's like even better now. Um, it's like something like 2 99 but I think it's better than Font Candy or any of the others. It just looks more professional and it doesn't make you have the... Um, the, the name in the corner, you know, like the watermark, mm. um, which some of the other apps make you have. Um, obviously, Buffer and every post are good for busy people if you want to schedule your post, but just be aware that when you do that, it does say posted by every post. So if you don't like that, then just be aware. Um, Pinterest and Instagram are obviously great places to find content. So I'm always looking at like people like Sophia Miyakova, who I know Cass loves as well. Like, um, you know, anything that I think, oh, like that's what I like. I find all my content there and I screenshot it and crop it. Um, Boomerang's obviously quite an interesting one. You can do like short, sharp little videos that look quite funny. Um, make sure you've all downloaded the Juice Plus events app because that's obviously going to give you your schedule for Birmingham. Um, so you're going to need that. And our names are on it. Woo! <laughs> um, and then these are two extra ones, which I just thought I'd tell you about real quick. There's an app called Followers, and it's basically, I use it for Instagram, you can use it for Twitter as well. It will tell you who, how many people follow you, um, who you follow that doesn't follow back, who follows you that you don't follow back, who's blocked you, all these sorts of things. So you can, and then you can literally go on it and anyone this, that you're following that isn't following back, you can unfollow and it lets you unfollow a hundred at a time. So it's quite a handy app if you want to get your um, followers right. The photo app that you said, was that layouts? Layouts or word swag. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that's good for Twitter and Instagram, it's called tags for likes. And you can uh, look up a, um, so you can type in, I don't know, like fitness, and it will bring up all the relevant hashtags. You can copy and paste them into your Instagram. Just be aware that if you put more than 20 um, hashtags on Instagram, it will, I think it disappears or something. It, does something it doesn't work, but then you can add more in the comments. Yeah, but that's quite a good app if you, like, you know, I get bored searching hashtags. Um, so that's it for apps. And then really the last thing is about um, how to be professional. I just pretend that my Facebook's being run by a company. So you obviously you have to be you, but make out, like, think about every single Facebook post you do. Don't just bang it on there recklessly. You need to almost think about the psychology you're using, the wording you're using. But on the other hand, don't waste time. So there's a happy medium. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it, doesn't, it's not, it can't be shit either. Um, so try and think about the indirect stuff you're saying and how that could be used to recruit or sell or just generally promote your life that you're mm. loving, that you're living. So um, I think in terms of what your profile looks like and being professional, I think um, you, I, I personally tell my team not to have, um, a, that they're a juice plus rep. Don't get me wrong, when I'm PMD, that will be my, that will be my bio, <laughs> right? But otherwise, if it says, DD or SDD at Juice Plus, um, a lot of people won't accept your friend request and that's purely just based on their preconception of, of Juice Plus. Um, I've got people that say they like follow me but they're not interested in Juice Plus and that's cool as well but I wonder if I'd had Juice Plus as my bio or that I worked there that whether they would have accepted me. So I personally don't have that on there. Um, I think that it's nice to have a colour scheme um, of your cover photo profile picture and your five featured photos. It's always nice if you can make it look aesthetically pleasing um, without trying to look like you are like salesperson of the year or that you're, um, you know, like I would never have 
a, a picture of the products as my cover photo no. or anything like that. Um, nothing that gives you away because again, you're trying to create intrigue. But people should go to a profile and be like, "Oh, is she like a blogger? Is she like what is what does she do?" This looks really interesting. Um, I've put on here, like it might sound obvious, be kind, like be kind to people when you're on Facebook. Like I always look through and think who can I, if I see a girl's picture, selfie or, or night out photo, I'll always comment like saying that they look lovely, that they're beautiful, stunning, etc. just to build like a positive reputation for myself. Um, so be kind to people. Obviously we touched on no neg. Um, product, uh, be a product of the, of the product. Um, so just remember that you are representing a, a company at the end of the day. Um, don't get into arguments, try not to be too controversial. Um, and if anyone ever does put anything negative on your profile or, or comments, literally don't reply to them because it doesn't, like they're not going to suddenly turn around and go, oh, can I order or join the team? Literally delete the comment, block the person and like, if needs be delete the status because that way you're just cutting out all the neg and all the mm -hmm. hate. And you, a good thing that I took away from Bournemouth was someone said these words to me, you get what you tolerate. Yeah. And that is stuck in my mind so much. So if your downlines are moaning to you, don't tolerate it. Just say, like, the time you're, you're moaning to me, you could be working. If someone's, like, giving you neg on Facebook, don't tolerate it. Just don't even listen. Yeah. Like, don't even spend a split second of your power of your brain on them. So just don't tolerate anything that doesn't yeah. build your business. I think um, Emerson said the same thing um, two years ago. She said, um, all you need to think is when you have any kind of thought, it's, does this build my business? And this relates to anything. So if when your friends are going like, oh, don't stay in and, and work on your business, like come for drinks. Will going for drinks build your business? No, don't do it. Will replying to this negative comment build your business? No. Like that's how you have to think is yeah. will it build my business? Yeah. Like sometimes I say to Dan, Oh, can we go out today? And he goes, Hmm, doing what? And if I say, Oh, we could go for a spa, he'll go, Will it build my business? Yes, it will. So I'm gonna go to the spa. But maybe going shopping might not so much for you. No. <laughs> um so just always have that in your mind, like, does this build my business? Um, and that is pretty much it. I just wanted to say really quick, because um, I made some notes from what Cassie said yesterday. So for those of you that weren't at her event, um, I'll literally fly through them. There's not many. Um, there, there is many, but I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, so Cassie emails her, her customers every single day um, on the email follow-up, which I've taught my group to do, and I'm sure Cassie's done the same with her team. I think that's a lush idea, um, and, it, and it keeps it really professional. Um, we've talked about living like a PMD, checking your reports before bed. Now, I was only checking my reports in the morning. Um, I quite like the idea of doing it before bed and then messaging your team to update them. Um, record your life and show people. So you almost need to think, like, you almost have to say to yourself, um, okay, people need to know what I'm doing. Right, I'm about to have my dinner. Great, I need to take a picture and show them because otherwise they might just fall down and collapse if they don't know what I've eaten. <laughs> um, but you always have to live like that. Um, and then, I love this, Cass said yesterday, who goes to the gym? Who doesn't go to the gym? Right, why don't you go to the gym? And she basically had like, no bullshit, no excuses. And I, I absolutely love that. Because it's like, why aren't you putting 100% into your life? Why aren't you putting 100% into trying and get that £78,000 worth of bonuses? Like, why aren't you doing that? Because if you, like, you're obviously just not committed if, if you don't, if you're not hungry for it. Um, uh, the, was it Shannon who did the product stuff yesterday? Is it Shannon? Yeah. yeah. She, um, she said about different packages, and I, I, we normally just use uh, bronze, silver, gold, but I quite like the idea of who loves chocolate. You could do a chocolate package with the chocolate bars and the chocolate shakes. So just kind of being a bit creative with the packages. Uh, Simon talked about investing in your health uh, like you would your car. I think this is saying if we can get this across to people, um, that's really powerful. Um, don't wait until you're sick like to, to you know, pr prevent um, health problems. And um, also don't forget guys, if you do the one simple change video before, I think it's before Wednesday, and you tag um, hashtag one simple change, um, they're selecting, they're choosing one person or two people for VIP tickets for Birmingham. Um, so it's good to do a one simple change video. Um, people do what you do. Uh, you should be aiming to take all of the products um, lead your team by example kind of have this catch me if you can attitude um, and Simon said the best retention comes from the children's health study so make sure you're offering that to people people care more about their kids health than they do their own 
um, and everyone wants stuff for free. Um, apparently, there's going to be a worldwide number one boy band uh, performing at Birmingham. <laughs> Take this. No, I don't know what they're called. Um, it better be Bewitch. But something like that. Dan's hoping it's Bewitch. I can't hope Sugar Babes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, it's a boy band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and then just thinking about the 825 plus one rule. So I think, I want to say it was Chelsea that said this. Um, if you do 825 plus one, like Cassie said, and that's 825 personal points plus one team member yourself um, each month, you would be a PMD in 10 months if everyone in your team followed this rule and you'd have a £198,000 pay line. That is literally sick and it's so achievable, like so easy to do. Um, and finally, be yourself. Like literally, if you try to be someone else, it's so transparent that people will see you straight through you. So, I think that takes us up to nine o'clock. Yeah. We've got an opportunity call next. If you've got any potentials that want to um, hear our story, I don't know if Cass is able to stay on, and then we will we'll probably only do 10, 15 minutes. Of yeah, that. sure. Yeah, we'll send yeah. another link out for that. But has anyone got any questions or anything before we go? Just check the chat. I think that's it, guys. So, we will see you guys. Oh. Oh yeah, right. I'm gonna post the recording um, on YouTube, and it's gonna be called CC Project and Team XXY Sunday Night Training. Um, but we'll we'll send Cassie the exact link so she can send it to you. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the info, guys. Don't worry. And um, the followers app is called Followers. Um, it just it looks like a rainbow behind the word Followers. Yeah. Cool. cool. Right. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.